Hi, this is Tim. I'm back with another video and I thought I would show you some test gameplay for Super Nintendo games on the Ambonic 280V, which is the small pocketable um, retro console I bought from Ambonic. As you can see, it is very, very small indeed, fits in your pocket. And just to let you know, uh, before I start any gameplay, um, this is kind of out of the box. I haven't put any new firmware or done any changes to settings or anything like that. So some of the games aren't 100% perfect, but let's just have a look. Overall, it's still pretty good, I think. But you can obviously judge that for yourself. We'll just do a little bit of a test from Mario Kart to start with. I'll do a couple of other games as well. Let's pick Luigi. This has got a um, 2.8 um, inch screen by the way. It looks bigger than it is because it's on such a small console. Um, let's do the Star Cup. Okay, I'll turn it up a little bit. It does actually go pretty, get out of the way man, uh, pretty loud on this um, console you can see I'm using the top right to jump I'm also going extremely wayward because I'm talking at the same time um, yeah this is one of the easiest courses so of course I'm showing you very badly how not to win and get out of the way Yoshi ah oh, that's just mean but yeah I have found generally um, the games perform pretty nicely on the Super Nintendo some of these Super NFX Super FX chip games, um, which do have problems sometimes, all seem to work pretty well. Um, we'll check out maybe Yoshi's Island for. I'm in first, so let's just keep there, Tim. So, um, yeah, I'll check out Yoshi's Island because that's a good one to check because that's Super FX chip game. And uh, can I actually win this? Maybe I can. Oh, I thought I was the last lap. There you go. I was not concentrating. So I'm going to have to do a bit of catching up. I thought I was on the lap. I thought I was on the last lap for some reason. Okay, let's just cut across and see if we can still kind of... Oh, my goodness. I would have won if it was the last lap, but I sadly didn't pay any attention at all. I managed to finish second. Um, there you go, not concentrate. So yeah, it plays seems to play really well. Um, Mario Kart and generally Super Nintendo games straight out of the box without doing any fiddling around or anything like that do seem to work fine. There's a few which kind of default to a smaller screen resolution which you can fiddle around and sort out although it's SNES 9X so I think I've maybe got to change to a different whoops change to a, give them a head start Ch change to a different get out of the way um emulator maybe i don't think i'm going to do very well on this one get out of the way um so yeah but overall i'm pretty impressed with the uh, performance uh, for most of the games we're just gonna i'm not gonna run right way around this one these are these are easy 50 C C C tracks in general, even though I'm finishing badly. Okay, so let's load another game up, and you can do a certain amount in here. You can uh, do a little bit of changing, etc. But yeah, you might need to change a bit further. Um, Donkey Kong Country 2. Should we try a little bit of that? Um, this one isn't a Super FX chip game. Looks very nice on the screen. I, I played it a little bit. I'm not sure I've got a save file. The colour's actually pretty good, although because of my um, recording, it may not show up amazingly true to life as they are coming out. But the colour's actually pretty good. Um, it may, like I said, it might not quite reflect that. Um, 
when you actually um, look at it on screen. So yeah, this looks pretty nice now. I'm going to turn it up a bit louder. Good start, Tim. Excellent start. Um, just... Can't even remember the controls half the time. Good one. Get off. Is, is this a bonus level? Yeah. So yeah, the, the colours aren't showing exactly true. They're coming up quite light because I've got some lighting, but it's pretty good. Oh my goodness. Didn't even get the first coin. Let's get this lovely rhino because he's pretty handy. All right, I can't reach that though. Okay, Tim, nice one. Not. Oh, that is such, such an annoying little thing. Yeah, but overall, it does play pretty nicely. I'm just wondering if I turn the light on, if it will make um, it worse or not. Let's come out of that one. Um, exit. And I'd like I said, I'll just do maybe Yoshi's Island. I'm going to turn the light on, see if it makes any difference. Mm, don't know, maybe it does. Makes it very bright in the background, but might get a bit more realism in the colour. I'm just, yeah, I'm just concerned the colour wasn't coming out that well, but it actually looks a bit better when I turn the light on, although it makes it very bright. Now, this one you'll see plays generally really well, but it does have a few minor, minor issues, which again, you could probably sort out without too much problem so you can see the top there just at the top you can see it's flickering there um, generally though you don't get a lot of that you get a little bit but again it's something you can potentially sort out But yeah, in general, this, this actually plays really nicely as well. Um, like I said, you get a little few minor issues. Whoops. I'm supposed to eat them, Tim. I'm trying to talk and play at the same time can sometimes be a little bit confusing for me at the best of times. I find it quite nice with my fingers at the top, by the way, when I'm playing on this small console. Um, it's not that comfortable at the moment because I'm kind of lent over a table, but in general I find it pretty, pretty, pretty comfortable. Um, but like, I find holding it like this is actually quite a nice way to do it and it makes it a little bit more comfortable. If I hold it, if I hold it, whoops, whoops. Um, just like that, it can get a little bit uncomfortable, but yeah, it's better like this.
I've wasted all my eggs. Anyway, that's some terrible shooting there, Tim. Um, but yeah, so generally I would say that the Super Nintendo SNES performance is actually pretty good on this um, little console. I might turn it down a bit because you probably can't hear me. But yeah, generally I would say the overall performance on most of the games is really, really good. Um, a couple of them you get a few minor issues, like I've shown you some flickering on this one. Um, I haven't got any um, lovely eggs. Let's see if I can get some. Yeah, and sometimes they default to different screen sizes and things like that, but it's not the end of the world. You can sort it out. But like I said, this is out of the box. This isn't, isn't with any um, firmware oh, updates or anything. My Alexa's decided she's going to interfere and tell me about stuff, but there you go. Um, yeah, so generally... No real issues, but the odd one does do a strange default. You can see there's a bit of flickering again when I go to the top of the screen. I don't think that's really an emulation problem. It's more to, probably to do with this um, little ambernick, the way it's set up, I would guess. Oh my goodness, how many times have I done that already? That's hilarious, Tim. Let's just get to the end of the level and then we're going to leave it there. But yeah, I'm overall really quite impressed with the performance, which you'd expect with this. It's a fairly powerful, powerful mini console. Um, but yeah, even the Super Nintendo Super FX chip games work really quite nicely. And that's it for the video. It's been quite a long one. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll do some different gameplay from other things like Mega Drive, arcade games, PC Engine, Neo Geo, that sort of thing in other videos. Hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.